Well, welcome back to that. To Strife. These load, uh, this little load barrier, really, really close to each other. They could have separated those just a little bit. So anyway, into the factory where they're building monstrous horrors. And I'm not talking about Xbox One X's. Whoops. I probably shouldn't have killed you. Um, let's see. Hmm, I wish sometimes that all these rebels would just learn their place and stop this nonsense. I might actually end up starting to get a little low on these, uh, the flamethrower rounds, units. And sounds like there is a spider bot somewhere. Um, so this is just the receiving dock, but it's kind of being blocked by, oh, there we go being blocked by a force field that nobody can really enter, so I'm kind of wondering how things get done. But that's neither here nor there, because I'm just here to put a stop to the place. It's not like I'm trying to make my own uh, bio, bio mutants to fight against theirs. Ooh. Ah, shit. That was way more explosive than I was expecting. Uh, there we go. Yeah. yeah, they got a lot of different type of uh, switch textures going on in this game. Factory receiving. Oh, there's another guy over this way or way somewhere? Yep. Seemed like a job for the flamethrower. You know, I always find it interesting having an actual arsenal of weapons in a game. Uh, one of my least favorite modern uh, first-person shooter elements is the idea that you can only carry two weapons on you at all times. Which is a little limiting. Although, to be fair, a lot of these uh, first-person shooters that restrict you to two weapons, the actual weapons themselves are not particularly exciting. So you're not really missing out. Yeah. yeah. You know, for a factory, it's got a lot of, uh, runes and temple stuff. I'm reading massive neural wave distortions from straight ahead. I think we found it. Hmm. Found. And 
Like, you can say a game like Call of Duty is to blame, but there are plenty of other games that, uh, like Gears, uh, that have kind of endorsed that, oh, you can only hold two guns. Oh, I think this is where I need to be going. Yeah. You do a nice uh, job highlighting that sigil. But maybe I should explore a little bit first. There. Ah. Not expecting to see so many villainous robots. Oh. Ah. These doors are death traps, I tell you. Hmm. I'm actually almost out of missiles. purposes of this area other than to have a whole bunch of platforms that lead to nope 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 there we go but I'm okay with the regular shot nope that was the special shot One of these days I'll learn what weapons do what. Maybe at least by the end of the game. And probably didn't need to run that fast. Energy pod. That's the flamethrower unit stuff. back here. More health. Always useful. I could lie and say that I'm never going to get hurt again, but my track record has proven that is not true. What is down there? Alright. Let's, uh, let's go where uh, Blackbird was saying stuff was, and then come back to this, because this seems like its own sprawl. Actually, what's in this door? Oh, it's uh, to the Order of Commons. Interesting. And I believe these glass windows are nice and breakable. If I so choose. If I so desire.
And strangely enough, I'm actually fully supplied on medkits, which uh, surprises even me. I'm not going to be supplied on those bullets for very long if I keep using it. There. There we go. Oh, this is definitely the way forward. So that's where it came in. Uh, map. So I want to go in that direction. Yep, that looks fairly ultimate. Uh, a staircase surrounded by little altar fires leading to a wide gate. So let's... uh. Take a look where this goes first. I believe somewhere in the last episode I said something about using the flamethrower to kill these guys. Um, but I got these uh, all these mini missiles, so why not? Got to vary things up. Go. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Uh, all right, what do we got in here? We got a strange little platform. Oh. That guy can die. It seems to be locked away from me. Ah, it has opened up. Oh. Okay. What did that... Yeah. That is a trap. That is why it is always good to save often. You never know when the ceiling might try to crush you. Looks like I'm pretty low on both of those types of ammo. So I shall have to vary it up once again. There we go. Um, oh. You know, I'm not really losing too much health, at least. 
Just bullets. Nope. By the end of this level, I'll have practically no bullets left. Um, now, what does... Oh, yeah, there is this... Nope, that doesn't really go anywhere. And... Hmm. Nope. Okay. I guess I can move forward. One of these days I should use that targeter thing. I like it, it made more sense back in the original edition when you had like the The older style reticle. Money. Cash. Hmm. What appears they're going off for processing. I probably should have paid attention to what key I just picked up. I'm sure it was important. Um, let's see. There was nothing that way. Now there's also... These gates up to... Oh! Whoa! You know, in some place you gotta, you gotta make sure the ceiling is not gonna crush you. Clearly, this is that place. Let's try out this targeter. Ooh. Um, I guess this is... Uh, now we have that representation of accuracy. That is still kind of a holdout from the original. It is extremely convenient that I got to show it off immediately after talking about it. Although I think I actually talked about it earlier, so... What is this? The Red Crystal Key. Oh, crap. I'm just gonna run. I don't need to fight them. Yeah, I also don't need to fight you either. Ah, now what's on the right side? Yeah, these mini missiles aren't quite as powerful as you expect missiles to be, but I suppose they give you so many of them. Kind of balances out. Uh, hear them talk. Oh! I hear somebody talking, but. Guessing I also don't want to be crushed, although it actually looks like there's. and eh, that cell hole's probably only big enough for the switch. Ah, son of a. Another key. 
I have a feeling that they're going to be very useful to me shortly when I get to the uh, to that big uh, area. Oop. Accuracy bonus decreasing. Ah! I'll have to remember to avoid... death when I get a chance to say uh, to if I have to load that game again yeah whoop yeah see I don't need to worry about you guys either I can proceed without a care hmm And see? I think that's the sound of the uh, spider bots on the other side of this door. But I don't care about those guys either. What a shame. Our technology is being wasted on torture instead of life. What a shame. Actually, hold on a second. Do these guys care? Acolytes, they have yet to see the full glory of the Order. Thanks, bye. I guess they don't care. They're like, hey, that's one upstanding dude. I mean, if he's in this area of the uh, factory, uh, he must be okay. Uh, spider bot. Just when I think I've seen it all, they go in human and come out. I don't even want to think about it. Eh. Ah, son of a. Just when I think I've seen it all, they go in human and come out. I don't even want to think about it. All right, those guys still don't care. That ah, who's shooting at me? That guy. Okay, there's one. And the other. Yeah, there's one more. Some ah, yep. And there goes my bullets again. Right, Maisel's gone nuts. He just knowingly sent 200 men to their death. I want vengeance for the dead and for the living dead. Yeah. Hmm. So Maisel might still be the villain after all. I guess I was always calling them biomutants, but I guess zombies is a bit more appropriate. Hmm. But it looks like production has been put to a halt. And what are you? Ah, a teleporter out of here. Excellent. Ah! There we go. Yeah. 
And my health back. Now, where am I? Oh, I'm back in the conversion chapel. Which is okay. Oh, shouldn't leave without collecting this med patch. So now, looks like it's time to head back and talk to Maisel about why he knowingly sent his own troops to not only their deaths, but also to be converted into zombies for the cause of the Order. Oh. Looks like I missed a few things. Ah, so I can make that quick exit via the commons. But I still haven't seen what's uh, beyond this area. So I'm going to take a quick trek down here. There is nothing. And then down here. Yep. yep. There's various spider bots. They're basically the head crab of this, uh, of this universe. Yeah. They're just really, really plentiful for some reason. At some point, somebody said, Let's spend a million dollars on spider bots. And then somebody else said, why a million when we can spend a billion dollars on spider bots? And thusly a billion dollars was spent on spider bots. Ah! It's just you. And now there's just spider bots everywhere they look. Spider bots parts, spider bots action figures, spider bots lun- <laughs> Oh my god, I fell apart. Spider bot lunch boxes. Where am I? Oh, okay. I guess I'll head back. Confront Maisel. Move the story along. Oh. There's a giant shield there. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah. Okay, that's what happens. Wait. What I can do is I can drop this. Oh, 
There, uh, now I've got this amazing camo. Nobody can see. Oh, that's just the catacombs again. Now, how do I get out of the commons? Ah! Not in that direction. Okay, so that doesn't make you invisible. Actually, where does the teleporter take you? The teleporter doesn't take you anywhere. It teleports in allies. Not quite what I was looking for. So... How did I get here? Okay, I'm just gonna cut back to, uh... Exiting this place? Yeah, that seems like a good spot to cut. Alright, so I took the long way around, and... Ooh. Can I get at you? Yeah, I, I get it. Alright. So I took the long way around and got out of the factory. But it was the safer path, so all the more resources that I can still have on my person. Up next, though, confronting Maisel and finding out why he sent people to their deaths. <laughs>